When mankind finally disappears from Earth, it will be very sudden. It will happen at a point when every single soul will have just turned on their lights, every shopkeeper his window sign, every student her desk lamp, every sailor his torch, and every watchman his lantern. Every light will shine so brightly that aliens will make wrong turns, mistaking Earth for the sun. And what will be left of us? Love letters will dance drunkenly with each other, signed with gin-scented tears. I miss you babies and I promise I'll be good to you this time. Bounce checks and failed tests will shake hands with Rakim lyric scraps and scripts by Bertolt Brecht. Shopping lists and methadone prescripts, papyrus hieroglyphs predicting apocalypse and transcripts of feminist war cries will lay waste to an infantry of lad mags. Ransom notes and memorandums will dance with revolutionary anthems written by visionaries and heavy-hearted phantoms. Speeches by Pauline Hanson and Charlie Perkins will punch it out under billion watt lanterns. Rhyme books will come apart on their spines and leap down the streets with Shakespearean sonnets over car bonnets and fallen lamp posts from Amsterdam to Ankara. Hitler's rants to revolutionary writings of Thomas Sankara, Patrice Lumumba, Amilcar Cabral. Streets blanketed with receipts from the opium wars. Napoleon's diary will trip over the orders of petroleum companies and landowners' tickets of notice. Shareholders folders, documents of our progress will pirouette down the asphalt, racist speeches by Alfred Deakin and Edmund Barton will backflip over school textbooks with dick jokes scribbled in the margin, letters of pardon will salute execution orders signed yours truly, the President of the USA. So amongst the archways and the pillars and the gutters and the floorboards, the struts and the niches and the bricks of the buildings. What will be left but every single light on earth reaching towards the stars like the arms of pilgrims?